Hi everyone! Hello! We thought we'd do an update. It's been two weeks since we were in Liverpool um, and if you've been following on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, you probably already know we were in Liverpool to see Kings of Leon at Fusion Festival. Fusion Festival was great wasn't it? Oh it was amazing. So good. Loved it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I wish. Yeah it's yeah. been two weeks since we've been there and yeah we just thought we'd do like a little update and kind of run through briefly what happened and what's happened since. So to begin with uh, we had a bit of an issue like getting communication from Fusion Festival, if you would put it that way. Mm -hmm. What communication? Yeah, uh, leading up to the festival, they didn't really have much on their website, which was a bit of an issue to begin with anyway. It was like alarm bells, like what's going on here? Yeah. Emailing them various times to ask about the viewing platform, disabled parking, and also what toilets were going to be at the festival that's obviously like a big thing I thought well we need to know what kind of toilets there's going to be mm -hmm. but we either didn't get a reply or when we did finally get a reply it was a case of like phone ticket master they'll tell you about the viewing platform the which, same parking which to me toilets. personally was really weird when you said that yeah because that's something that's quite unheard of in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, we've never had that before. Um, and I think a lot of people were shocked. You spoke to someone who actually said the same thing, was very shocked about mm -hmm. and in the end didn't go yeah, to Fusion. Yeah, didn't end up going in the end because they didn't get the information that they needed uh, regarding accessibility. Which is absolutely shocking. That is. That's shocking. Mm -hmm. That is. So, so that was like obviously the initial problems we had with Fusion Festival and that was kind of like, we should have went where I got, like we had a really bad feeling about it for there. Yeah. And like even the weeks and days leading to it, leaving for Liverpool, we were still unsure about what it was going to be like. But you want to go, so obviously you're... But yeah. That overrides it. So yeah, we had a really good time in Liverpool and then when we went, we left our hotel, it was maybe like 10 minutes to get to... It was really fish, quick was actually, good. yeah. But we had the issue getting the parking. We had booked in to get the disabled parking, but there was like three stewards that we spoke to um, trying to find the parking. Um, they kind of gave us a bit of a run around. So long story short, we basically spoke to sort of a few different people, eventually got us to the blue gate it was. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up parking in some random space in the park. Um, yeah. Really random, no signs, no stewards, nothing. And then mm -hmm. we ended up walking towards what looked like a kind of entrance way so we walked towards it asked a steward and he said yeah it's just up there and i said what about disabled and he said no it's just the main entrance up there so we've done that it was all grass mm -hmm. then and it's we... quite busy mm -hmm. and i thought oh no like what is this going to be like and that wasn't even like the main doors open that was hours and hours at night later mm -hmm. on at night so yeah can't i mean imagine what it must have been like then i know like the doors Chaos opening. probably yeah so yeah we spoke to a woman she pointed us towards sort of like the main kind of direction of where the platform was um, and it was no clearer after we spoke to her but we're still a bit lost mm -hmm. and we asked her was there any kind of you know the plastic mat and stuff they put down for like uh, stadiums and festivals or whatever for especially wheelchairs to go on nothing at all it was just grass so it was I think it was quite a squelchy and wet wasn't yeah. it it wasn't it wasn't because I think I think it had been like a little bit rainy before yeah. we arrived, um, but obviously it was forecast to actually rain when we were there. So mm -hmm. seeing the grass slightly muddy to begin with, we were like, "Oh no, this is going to be a nightmare." But it wasn't too bad. It was just grass, so we thought, right, fair enough. And then we started to make our way deeper and deeper towards like the main stage. And as soon as we'd done that, the crowds just obviously got thicker and thicker. Till the point we couldn't really move and it was really intimidating mm -hmm. uh, more so for you than anything mm -hmm. uh, you know if you can imagine being at the level of emma um kind of hip height i suppose yeah it's really intimidating 
and yeah. you had arms and cigarettes and, and drink people and like falling and, all over yeah. me and bumping into my chair and obviously like it was loud as well because the music was yeah we couldn't really communicate because it was banging away so we spoke to stressful. yeah I would say definitely the word was stressful. Mm -hmm. So it started to kind of it was, felt like it was starting to rain a wee bit. But anyway, we met a steward. We tried to grab him and mm -hmm. said to him, "Can you help us?" And he had no idea where the stage was. He was like, "Oh, sorry, the I, I, I had that. Yeah, I don't have a clue where the platform is." And mm -hmm. eventually, he led us to it after a bit of messing around. He led us to it. We got there and we ended up getting but actually on the way there. He had to actually clear a path like he was trying to move he helped me move people, people out, out the way, the way and, and yeah. he was kicking like rubbish out the because there was loads of empty bottles and cups and mm -hmm. food basically just lying everywhere as festivals are like yeah um, Out of this hell of all this crowd, and then basically, and then, dun, dun, dun. 
Boom. More dishes. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Uh, I'll be McEnroe. Well, Alan McEnroe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I still need to double check. Is there space? Is there space? What? supposed to have a, a, a small amount. Okay, so why is all these people on it then? Because I'm assuming they sell the tickets to everybody. So everyone here, you've got their name? Yes. Everyone who's on this ramp is on my list. Can you, is there someone in charge? He was around before, if I see him again. Right, look, I'm not I'm not messing anybody around, right? This, this is the list I've been given for today. I'm not, no, I'm not saying you are. Yeah. We're supposed to have 12 for yeah. 27. They've, they've hired like the shittiest, smallest possible platform they can get. Yes, I, I understand. We're not leaving here tonight until we speak to this guy and tell him to that now. Nope, no, listen to that mate, this I understand. Yeah. We're I, raging I, mad, oh, we're raging no, mad. I understand when I saw this this morning, I yeah. thought even for like 12 or 13, it was a bit too small. No. So she's paid a, like, paid a ticket like all these other people, and yeah. now she can barely see. I say every single person is a... Um, is on this list and then has a carer with them. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. So everybody is on this list. It's not your fault, I'm just trying to get who's yeah. in charge of this one. I'm assuming somebody a lot higher up than Of course, that. yeah, of course. But if I see the guy again, I'll I'll point him your way. Yeah, please do. It's Even more, getting like, I believe, like, part, parked away, way back behind those trees. I believe the parking was not, yeah, I know. Uh, some uh, other people have mentioned the parking. Why was it not, like, there, and then walks straight across? Why, why was that away miles? There's no room. Again, your guess would be as good as mine. I turned up this morning and was told to stand on this. I know, I know. So, um, yeah, people, I know I'm not... People, are people complaining? When they're there are they? Yes. It's not just us? Everyone. Ah, oh, okay. They say, I'm not trying to make excuses. No, I'm... But it's okay. it's okay. if, I could, if I find somebody higher up, I'll, I'll, I'll send them your way. We definitely do, but, but, but we, 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 Emma fights on behalf of all these people. That's why she runs the blog and the website. She I will. I, if I say, if I see them again, I will. But it's if they come back. I know. I know. They keep coming and going all day. Yeah. So even when it's finished, if we can speak to someone, because we're not leaving here until we talk to them. So even when it's done, I will. You know. say, if I see them again, I will try yeah. my best to send them up we, I can only apologise. Yeah. It's not your fault, it's okay, don't apologise. I know, it's, uh, I, no, 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 it's, uh, I, I work for them, so I can only yeah. apologise for, for the organisation. So, I'm just, this is the same, yeah. see the guy again, I'll, yeah. I'll send him up Okay, tap it. Can you see? Is that the toilet? Yeah. I've got all these people, there's people sitting down there as well on the floor. Look at them. How cool can you, what can you do? There's no one here. Well, we're completely let down. Yeah. Guy let us on the platform and he was like, what's your names? Took our names. It was like, yeah, no problem. Usually you would be let on and like walked on and they would get a seat for me and they would tell him our space and he would go mm -hmm. right. Anyone who's been here would know exactly what we mean. Yeah. But no. That um, happened. He basically he just, just left us, us on the ramp and we were like, 
what's going on? Like, where do we go? Like, why is he walking away from us? Yep. So we basically just. But we could see that there was. We could see basically it was chaos because there was people at the very bottom of the ramp. Like there was maybe two or three uh, wheelchair users sitting, basically facing the toilets. The two like porta loos. And then yeah. all the way up the ramp, there was also wheelchair users and their companions all standing and we thought, what is going on here? Like, why, why is this happening? Yeah, it didn't look Seemed... at all normal. Yeah. So, basically they were standing on the ramp that kind of like goes up and then the platform itself flattens out mm -hmm. where you sit. So they weren't even on the platform, they were like on the rampway, the kind of walkway. Um, so ended up, we stood there but for like literally we're on there for a minute and we're already saying to the steward come, come back here we want someone to speak to about this. I couldn't see at all. Yeah you weren't like, even on the platform no, properly. No I, I, could, I couldn't see I was like what is going on here? There was a drunk guy on the railing behind Emma no. and he was like half conscious and he was hanging over the edge and he was it was quite funny but at the same time not really because. No because he was leaning on someone's wheelchair as well and I just thought this is, this is ridiculous. What's yeah. that? Why is he not getting removed from this? Because if he had fallen, obviously that would have been like a major and like injury as well. Yeah, so we basically just um, kind of were complaining and the steward himself was like, oh my God, don't get me started on this. <laughs> like, I'll try and get someone, a manager, but there's no one about. The guy keeps yeah. coming and going. Um, and then eventually he was like, we've had complaints all night about this mm -hmm. and about all the other things like parking and yeah. the distance you had to come to get here and yeah. um, it was a shambles basically. And then we eventually only got onto the proper platform and because people had actually moved for us, it wasn't anything to do with the stewards or anyone else, yeah. it was the people on the platform started moving to let mm -hmm. us squash in but between. just to explain what it was actually like on the platform. Oh, it was Front, front, front foot plates to backrest to the next person's chair. It was just back to front, back and to front. And you literally you couldn't get moving. Like if you needed to go to the toilet, or there's no chance of it. Happened. Or you needed off to get a drink. There was no. zero chance of that happening. Especially if you were front. There was only like three rows, I think, of us. Yeah. Uh, three or four rows, and we were jammed in. We were absolutely entwined into each other. Like every chair was all like matched into the next chair. So it was. Yeah. It was a case of just a free for all, and you had a, um, a kind of family sort of to the front and left of you. That was the dad was supposed to be the carer, and he was drunk, absolutely out of it. And his wife in the wheelchair, and then yeah, her son and their partner. Son and girlfriend with them, yeah. So there was four of them. That's the other problem. They were letting everyone and anyone on the platform. There was no like, have you got a wristband? It was just boom. Yeah, it was nothing like. That. The, the steward had told us that they expected 27 people on the platform. And I think I counted in the dark, maybe 55. Oh, it was, uh, yeah, it was double, more than double. Um, they were basically just letting anybody on. Speaking of toilets, um, what were the toilets? The toilets were an absolute... <laughs> they were the most diabolical part of almost at all, I think. <sighs> yeah, there was two, like, port alu type toilets. Just your standard portal as you would see like in a builder's yard or a, a random event. Yeah. yeah, just a random festival. One like narrow toilet which you basically just need to like walk into and then there was a slightly larger one next to that. The ones that the class is disabled with a wheelchair symbol. One that had that. a wheelchair symbol on it but there's like no way that no. you're going to get a wheelchair user in it plus like a companion. We've been told before actually well what's the issue why don't you just leave your chair outside? Yeah, because everyone in the crowd, like thousands yeah, and thousands of people. Yeah, but it's not just that, like, you can't obviously, it's maybe okay if you can walk slightly, but yeah. obviously you want dignity and That's what I mean, you wouldn't privacy. want all those people looking yeah, at you. If there's people that can't actually get up and walk those few steps into the toilet, then that's, mm -hmm. that's an issue. So, and they and didn't even the barrier that us. off. No, they the toilets, they no. were The toilets were almost just in the crowd, like there was all this random normal like standard kind of people, festival goers, yeah. were all just like standing watching and they were looking right at that toilet yeah, they as they were like looking at the stage. The so yeah. it, you, you went to the toilet, you were going to be watched by like thousands of people, just <laughs> there was no, yeah. there was no, it was crazy, it was absolutely crazy. And we also got told that the toilets were filthy and they were blocked 
So really, if he if he were desperate for the toilet, no, there's no. Way. I wouldn't really fancy. Nah. So yeah, we we didn't go to the toilet at all when we were there. We didn't drink, but that was kind of the reason we we went as late as possible because we didn't get told what the toilets were going to be like beforehand. Yeah. Um. Obviously, they didn't have a changing places toilet. They didn't even have like. Uh, almost like a kind of size of a half porter cabin something they have where mm -hmm. it's like you would go inside it and it's got a big sort of area to maneuver about but yeah. nothing like that so we could we said to the we said we would wait until the very end to complain and we told the staff that we're not leaving here until the manager the person who runs all this whole shambles gets gets to here on the platform mm -hmm. we waited till every single person was off the platform no one came we were pammed off and fobbed off to told to go on the website and that no one at all from Fusion Festival was at Fusion Festival. No one who ran Fusion Festival was actually at Fusion Festival, which is just pure and utter lies, but diabolical. Yeah, I, I don't believe um, that for one second, that no one from Fusion Festival was at their own festival. No, so mm -hmm. it's basically a case of they were completely and utterly just not interested. And... Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, since then we've uh, we made complaints via a Facebook message that night at the hotel. We tweeted them, we put it on Facebook, we've tagged them on all of those things. We've sent an online, online form, form as well, yeah. and they claim they've not had any complaints, but what they really mean is they've just not made anyone available to receive the complaints. Oh no, they're just ignoring them, they're, they're hoping yeah. that... Or oh, they're, they're thinking this plan it. of ignoring is going to work yeah. here. And it's, that's not going to happen. I've received emails from other people that went to the festival and also like people contacted me on Twitter and they've had issues as well and they said they've made complaints and haven't received any um, reply from them so that just shows you the okay. lack of interest. They're ignorant, yeah. they're absolutely diabolically ignorant and now they've made their money from pain paying customers, disabled fans who have paid the ticket price mm -hmm. and got a shambles um, in return and now they've made their money and that's that chapter done for them so it's a case of right, we'll move on. Well we're not moving on because next year will just be as much a shambles. Mm -hmm. Liverpool City Council are highly like much involved in this mm -hmm. and um, so you know they've got a lot to answer for Liverpool City actually... Council contacted them as well and it's um, Culture still... Liverpool who are mm -hmm. actually responsible I believe so yeah yeah we've, we've, we've done our absolute best we have and we just hope we still we'd... are so we just get I don't know a, a bit of acknowledgement that yeah okay we, we do understand the issues that you had and we'll hope to like because we're not going to be there change. next year we're not we're not going again but it's a case of we hope to make things better for those people in Liverpool who do go mm -hmm. and who don't have to put up with that yeah. nonsense anymore. So the joys of lovely Fusion Festival. Fusion Festival. I'm not interested in talking to us about this garbage platform complete health and safety risk this is this is what they leave this is what fusion festival leaves behind liverpool city council, liverpool city council so if you're interested get it changed yeah that was it but liverpool itself was actually Awesome, we went to the Tate Liverpool, which was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. We've seen, uh, what did we see there? We've seen an uh, Andy Warhol original, we've seen yeah. a Damien Hirst, the dot painting, mm -hmm. um, a few other cool things. Watched yeah, a few, cool. like, yeah, different bits in there. And then we had. And just walking around the like, Albert Dock area was really cool, we enjoyed that. Oh, that was really nice, actually, yeah. I liked that. Never really properly seen it, so it was cool. No. Um, and we walked into the city centre can area as well for a wee bit and then the uh, Baltic Triangle yeah to area. see the artwork 
Paul Curtis, the wings on the wall. If you follow them on Instagram, you'll have seen that. Yeah, I love that. That was a really cool photo. So, yeah, so Emma's Instagram below is... Simply in the blog. Yeah, you'll get that <laughs> on there. If you want to go follow and if you want to keep watching our videos going forward, you can hit the subscribe. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, we'll have more coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah, this is just basically a a little recap of Fusion Festival. I know we've yep. done like a previous video that we put on Instagram, eh, no sorry, Twitter and Facebook, but mm. that was in the, the heat of the moment, like right after. That was just to try and get their backs up to properly acknowledge us. Yeah, that was like as soon as we got all back to the hotel, so we just thought we would do another little video and just, yeah, basically recap what's happened and what's happened since, but we don't really have yeah. much to to say since it's been in a few papers it's been in the eye paper and it's um been also been in the Liverpool echo so we're getting somewhere yeah and we're we keep chipping away at it so hopefully for all you to sell people out there this crap won't happen again we're staying positive that we're going to get a good response we will fingers crossed we can anyway. do it we can do it hopefully so see yeah, you. thanks for watching. Cool. And we will see you all next time. Yes. Bye.